I recently saw a viral video claiming you could hack a phone just by hiding an APK, an Android app, inside a photo. The idea, send someone a picture, they open it, and suddenly their phone is compromised. Sounds like a spy movie, right? But is it real? Before we go further, this is for education and awareness only, never for illegal use. Today, we'll test this claim, break down how Android handles files, and see if this photo hack is possible. We're here to bust myths and help you protect yourself, not teach hacking. So let's treat this like a digital science experiment and see what really happens when you try to bind an app to an image. Ready? Let's get started. The idea of hiding malware inside harmless looking files has been around for decades. Cyber criminals disguise malicious software as innocent files to trick people. Early examples include suspicious email attachments designed to exploit curiosity or carelessness. The APK in photo trick is a modern version of this, claiming you can hide an Android app inside a photo and install it just by opening the image. Some websites and tools claim to make this process easy, promising to bind an app to an image with a few clicks. Many believe that simply changing a file's extension from JPEG to .apk will trick the system into running it. In reality, Android checks a file's internal structure, not just its name or extension, and blocks anything suspicious. Android security is designed to prevent these tricks, using multiple layers of protection. So what really happens when you try to open one of these infected images? Let's find out. To safely test the myth, set up a virtual Android device in a sandboxed environment. This keeps your real devices and data protected. Start with a clean Android install on the virtual machine. Create a test payload APK using Metasploit and select a standard JPEG image to use as the carrier. Use a binder tool to merge the APK with the image file, creating a single file that appears as a photo but contains the payload. Check the file properties. The merged file should look like a photo but have a much larger file size than a normal JPEG. Perform all steps inside the virtual machine to keep your main system safe. Transfer the merged file into the virtual Android device, keeping it isolated from your real hardware. Open the file on the virtual device to begin testing. Binding the APK to the photo is as easy as running a command that merges the two files. The new file, hackedphoto.jpe, is just the image data followed by the APK data. On the Android VM, it looks like a normal photo, thumbnail and all. The file is much bigger than a typical image, but otherwise seems innocent. According to the myth, opening this file should trigger the hidden app. We're about to test if that's true. Let's open the file and see what really happens. With everything set up and ready, I decided to put the theory to the test. I took my Android phone, navigated to the gallery app, and located the file named hackedphoto.jp. With a bit of anticipation, I tapped on the image, curious to see if anything unusual would happen. Would the phone react strangely, or would something unexpected pop up? I watched closely as the image loaded. To my relief, and maybe a little disappointment, the image displayed perfectly, just like any other photo. There were no glitches, no pop-ups, and certainly no signs of hacking or malicious activity. The gallery app treated it as a regular image file, showing it clearly without any issues. If you were expecting a dramatic moment, there simply wasn't one. I decided to dig a little deeper. I checked the image properties and swiped through other photos in the gallery. Everything worked as usual. The hidden APK file embedded inside the image didn't trigger anything at all. The gallery app just ignored the extra data, focusing only on displaying the visible photo. My phone continued to function normally, with no slowdowns or odd behavior. To be thorough, I tried opening the same image in several other photo viewer apps available on Android. Each time, the result was identical. The image appeared normal, and there was no indication that anything was hidden inside. No app tried to run the embedded APK or even acknowledged its presence. It was just a harmless picture, no matter which app I used. Still curious, I decided to experiment further. I renamed the file from hackedphoto.jpg to hackedphoto.apk to see if that would make a difference. This simple change would tell Android to treat the file as an application instead of an image. This time, things changed a bit. Android immediately recognized the file as an app and popped up a dialog asking if I wanted to install it. The system was alert, but it didn't do anything automatically. It simply gave me the option to proceed or cancel. 
Here's the important part. For anything to actually happen, the user must manually approve the installation and grant all the necessary permissions. Without your explicit consent, the APK won't run or install itself. You're always in control of what gets installed on your device. Android's security features are designed to protect you. No code runs automatically just by opening an image. If you try to install an unknown app, you'll see warnings and security prompts. The system blocks anything suspicious unless you deliberately override those protections. So the myth is officially busted. Simply opening a photo, even one with a hidden APK inside, does not hack your phone. Your device remains safe as long as you don't manually install unknown apps. Those dramatic videos you see online where phones get hacked just by opening a picture, they're either staged for effect or conveniently skip over the real steps involved. In reality, Android security does its job and you have nothing to worry about if you're just viewing images. If a photo can't hack your phone, what should you worry about? The real threat is social engineering, tricking you into clicking a malicious link. Hackers send messages with links that lead to fake sites or prompt you to download malware. These attacks rely on curiosity and trust, not technical exploits. Phishing sites steal your credentials. Fake apps trick you into installing malware. Android warns you before installing anything outside the Play Store, but attackers hope you'll ignore the warnings. The real danger isn't a photo, it's the link that convinces you to act. Social engineering is the hacker's favorite tool. The photo hack fails because of Android's sandboxing. Each app runs in its own secure space. The gallery app can only display images, it can't run code. Android checks the file's header, not just its extension, to decide how to handle it. Any extra data after the image is ignored, like blank pages at the end of a book. Older systems were more vulnerable, but Android and iOS are built to prevent these tricks. Real attacks succeed by convincing you to install something and grant permissions. When you sideload an app, you're inviting it into your device. Android still warns you, but the final choice is yours. The real risk is being tricked into opening the door. Staying safe is about smart habits, not technical wizardry. Be skeptical of unexpected messages, links, or attachments. When in doubt, delete them. Avoid sideloading apps. Stick to trusted sources like the Play Store. Always check app permissions. Does that flashlight app really need your contacts? Keep your phone updated. Security patches fix real vulnerabilities. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. Be careful on public Wi-Fi, especially for sensitive tasks. These simple steps form a strong defense against most attacks. Remember, your choices matter more than any technical trick. Good digital hygiene is your best protection. After testing, it's clear you can't hack an Android phone by hiding an APK in a photo. Android security, sandboxing and file handling blocks this trick completely. The real danger is phishing and social engineering, not clever file manipulation. Awareness is your best defense. Don't fear the photo, watch out for the link. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and keep learning about real threats. Use trusted app stores, keep your device updated, and use strong passwords. Don't let myths distract you from practical security. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.